Good morning. We're going to talk about perception. I have a lovely couple who are having relationship issues and I'm trying to work with them. I've done this for years and it, I have great success. So the issue is perception. Just because more than one individual, so it can be you and one other person or you and 12 other people, experience a conversation, an event, whatever, everyone is going to come away from that with a different understanding, a different perception. They, everybody sees it different through their own lens, the lens of everything that you've gone through your entire life. So, as with many relationships, there's ups and downs, and people don't see everything the same way, and they get into these these squabbles, and it's just little tiny things that blow up into huge, huge, it's like, you know, mountains and molehills, and this is more like Mount Vesuvius. <laughs> This is wild, over tiny things. So I set them down and I explained that about perceptions. That you sit down and you have a conversation with someone. You may walk away with one totally different perspective than the other person. That's very common, especially in relationships and at work. Have you noticed that at work? Oh my gosh. So make sure to do active listening, okay? When somebody says something, I don't want you to repeat it back, don't be a parrot, but when somebody says, um, you really hurt my feelings doing X, Y, Z, or I didn't like the way, you know, you parked the car or whatever, say, okay, I understand that, that you don't like or you don't appreciate, just validate what they are saying. That is huge validate that you understand what they are saying. You may not agree. That's not what we're talking about. You validate what they are saying. Okay. Both parties do this. That is a huge, huge step toward compromise and understanding. We don't have to always agree with each other because everybody sees everything differently and that's fine. You have to speak your truth. I've known families and there'll be more than one child in the family and there may have been a horrific event and everybody remembers it differently. And so they end up, the kids end up calling each other liars or uh-uh, it didn't happen. That's not how I remember it. And you have to sit them down and tell them, this is each individual's perspective. This is your truth, your truth, not your brother's, not your sister's. This is yours. Doesn't make it right, wrong, or indifferent. It's yours. And everybody's job is to appreciate that, validate it, and go on. You don't have to agree. You know, if somebody fell over, you know, at, at the Christmas party, somebody had a little too much to drink and they fell. Well, they didn't fall, they tripped. They tripped over the dog, did not, tripped over the shoe. Oh, they were just stumbling drunk. Doesn't matter, not really. But, you know, people are people, validate, you know, I remember da 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 da. Really, well, I remember this and this and this. And then you laugh about it and say, boy, that was really a time, you know? Don't get caught up in the blame game. Don't get caught up in being a right fighter. For those that don't know, a right fighter is someone that they don't give a rat's ass what the topic is. If you're right, if you're wrong, because they have to be right. No matter what, they're right. They will have the last word and they will argue to the death. They may not have any, anything to back up what they're saying, but they're gonna argue. You know, they're always right. They know everything. You're gonna hear so many, well, maybe so's, I don't know. Well, that's your story. That's right, that is your story, that is your truth. They can just go away. I was going to say something else, but I'm being polite. You know, this is your truth. Stick by your truth. Validate others, but live your truth. That's you, and that's fine. The couple felt very foolish after we had this discussion. They, I mean, honestly, they turned red and it was kind of like, oh my God, I can't believe. Well, it's okay, it's fine. That's why if there's a car accident or a shooting or something like that, police wanna talk to witnesses. 
everybody's going to have a different a different take on it, a different spin, and that's fine. They're seeing it from their perspective, their lens. Somebody that grew up in a violent atmosphere may see it differently than somebody that grew up in a very idealistic atmosphere. Nonetheless, the fact, the basic fact that somebody was injured is there, okay? And that's what they want to know. Who did it, how it was done, just the basics. But it's, you know, everybody's going to have their own spin on it. That is their truth. That's how they perceive it. That's how they see it. That is their truth. God bless them. Support them with that. You don't have to agree. Just be respectful. That's it. I want you to speak your truth in all aspects of your life. Be your authentic self. Be who you are. You're going to find it very free and kind of cathartic. You know, you don't have to put on a pretense. You don't have to put on a fake face. You don't have to act certain ways around certain people. It's just be who you are. This is me. People that know me will tell you, yeah, that this is Brenda. It doesn't get any better. Good, bad, or indifferent. This is me. And people will have different perceptions of that. Some people will say, oh my God, she is such a pretentious bitch. Okay. Other people will say she is so genuine and down to earth. I had the best compliment ever once. Somebody said uh, they were, it was a telemed appointment with them. And they said, talking to Brenda is like having coffee with your best friend every day. That is by far the best compliment I have ever received. That was amazing. That was good. But see, everybody has their own perception. I don't let it offend me. That's their perception. That's their truth. Okay? So please, be you. Stand in your truth. Don't be bullied. Don't. If somebody says, well, that's not how I remember it. That's not what happened. Okay. Just smile. You know, don't get involved with a right fighter. Just whatever. Live your truth. Okay? You've got this. I have faith in you. Pick your battles. Respect each other's perspectives. 